Hey, Tony here. For today's 31 Days of Horror video, I'm going to give you my top 10 vampire movies that I have in my collection that I've actually seen. Um, I really do enjoy the vampire stories, um, anything to do with Dracula. I always like to dress up as Dracula um, during Halloween when I was growing up. So a lot of great movies featuring vampires. Um, so it was kind of tough to rank these. So these are definitely just my preferences. First up at number 10, we have Interview with a Vampire. I have seen this just a couple of times. I really enjoy the atmosphere of it and the story. It's a little bit um, draggy in places. Sometimes really hard to get into, but I would definitely consider this a top 10 in my collection. Okay, next one at number 9 would be Dracula Untold. I actually saw this one in the theater when it was released. I really enjoyed it. Um, another one that's very atmospheric. Um, I know a lot of people probably didn't like this movie if they've even if they've even checked it out, um, but I would highly recommend checking this one out. I thought it's a really good story. Okay, at number eight, we have Bram Stoker's Dracula, a really good classic um, vampire story. Um, I've seen this one twice. It's another one kind of reminds me a lot of Interview with a Vampire. Kind of slow moving in, at times. At most times it's kind of slow moving. But a really good story and good um, vampire lore as far as Count Dracula. Okay, uh, an action movie with vampires is Blade. Um, I, I've always enjoyed Wesley Snipes' Blade. I really enjoyed this story. I saw this particular movie recently, probably about a year ago, I guess whenever the 4K was released. And just as a revisit, the movie really holds up from the time that it was filmed. Um, I really enjoyed the action aspect and the more modernized version of a vampire. Okay, let's see. At number six, we have 30 Days of Night. I've always enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a really good dark um, another action-packed movie. Some really good vampires um, featured in this story. Almost to the point to where the vampires seem more like zombie-type creatures. Um, very bloody, um, action-packed. If you've never seen 30 Days of Night, I would highly recommend you check that one out. And then some recent vampire stories that I've seen. Um, at number five, I'm going to go with Let the Right One In. Um, this, this right here was suggested for me to check out after I watched the, um, the Americanized version of this. So I watched this one this, just recently this week. Really enjoyed it. Very good story. Um, good acting. Ch you know, mostly featuring the children, uh, a, a boy and a girl. I thought it's a really good story. Very creepy. Good special effects. So definitely check this one out if you haven't seen it. And then the counterpart for that is the Americanized remake called Let Me In. I actually enjoyed this one better than the original. Um, to me, the acting was better. The, um, the story was a little bit different in a better way. And um, I really enjoyed it. If you've never seen this movie, definitely check it out. Great performances. Great special effects. I highly recommend this one. Okay, at number three... My choice would be Salem's Lot. I did just recently re-watch this one in the past week, maybe two weeks, and really enjoyed Salem's Lot. It is a very slow um, burn for the first half of the movie, but the second half is just excellent. Very creepy. Got some really good characters in it. Very good story. Um, definitely a top three in my, in my book. Okay, at number two, I'm going to go with a classic, Fright Night. Um, this is another one that I've revisited during the 31 Days of Horror Movies. Great story, great action, um, great special effects. The story is probably what I enjoy the most because of the types of characters that are in this. They're a younger type of character. Reminds me of um, the movies that I watched growing up in the 80s, the late 70s and the 80s. Um, so definitely check out Fright Night if you've never seen it. It's probably worth um, having in your collection if you're able to get a hold of it. Okay, number one is probably a hot take because I don't really hear many people talking about this recently as far as a vampire story, but very nostalgic for me is The Lost Boys. 
Um, I remember seeing this when it came out. This is another one that reminds me of my teenage years. I remember seeing this one in the theater when it came out. Um, all the young people, the teenagers, the way the story's based on this younger group with the vampires. Um, definitely number one in my book. So those are my top 10 vampire movies that I have in my collection that I've actually seen. Of course, I've got a lot of other ones. Um, a lot of Dracula stories, a lot of vampire stories that I've never actually seen yet. They're on my watch list. I just haven't gotten around to, to watching them yet. So I'm sure that there may be more in the collection that I need to check out. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my particular top 10 list. And also maybe give me some recommendations of some that I did not show that I haven't seen that you would recommend me checking out because I really do enjoy reading your comments and I do appreciate your recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.